Uh, hello everybody, welcome to my first ever Sketch With Me video. Um, to give some context before we actually get into, uh, what we're doing here, this is entirely improvised. I wanted to put together some non-scripted content, uh, between, like, my scripted videos and stuff like that, just because I thought it would be fun. Um, so these videos are mostly going to be me talking about any certain topic without a script, so you're gonna hear a lot of ums, and a lot of uhs, and a lot of pauses. I'm gonna try to edit that down as much as I can, while still keeping it coherent, but this is basically just me shooting off at the mouth for a couple couple minutes while you watch some sketchbook uh, footage of mine. From time to time, I may not even put in like a, a talk over track or something like that. I might just put in music, but I, I thought it'd be fun to just have some chill, relaxing content between my usual output. So, yeah, um, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoy what I'm doing here, and, uh, let's get into it. So, uh, I'm actually not gonna talk too much about what's actually going on on screen right now, um, I'm drawing a couple of characters from my webcomic, Tip to Ferryman, check it down in the description below, I am a master at shilling, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> But I'm just drawing some characters from my webcomic. Now, what's happening in the sketchbook isn't nearly as important as what I wanted to talk about with sketchbooks today. And that is the fact that, uh, until recently, I hadn't touched a sketchbook properly, like, using one, like, almost every day, in literal years. Um, I think since about 2021, I haven't used a sketchbook super duper regularly. And there is a reason for that, uh, that I wanted to talk about because I think it's something that a lot of artists run into at some point or another. And it's just that, like, every single time I would open my, up my sketchbook, uh, what would be going on in the back of my head is, oh, this looks too boring, this isn't pretty, like, this isn't, like, the really cool aesthetic sketchbooks I see all over Tumblr or whatever. Like, a lot of people kind of run into this thing where they open up a sketchbook and because every single page isn't like a beautiful complete spread, they're either too scared to put something down or maybe they feel really really bad for putting something simple down. And I wanted to talk about this phenomenon because it's, it's important and I think like where we need to start with this is that Sketchbooks aren't really meant to be pretty. It's fine if they are, as you can see in like a lot of the stuff that you're gonna see in this video. I do really, really, really like to pretty up my sketchbooks. I just think that it's fun. But the point of a sketchbook is to be messy. It's to improvise things. It's to jot down ideas. They're not really meant for finished pieces, and I don't really know anybody who does finish pieces on every single one of their sketchbook pages. They're there for you to figure out ideas and for you to just jot something down. I have a sketchbook in my, um, I mean, I have a page in my sketchbook that's just shapes that I make out of, like, pens and highlighters and stuff like that because it helps get me started. And I think where a lot of this, like, comes from is, you know, obviously, like, we look on social media and stuff like that, and we see these incredible artists with these beautiful, beautiful sketchbooks, like, fully colored drawings, like, filled out pages, stuff like that, right? It, it is wonderful to see, and I'm not going to dog on any of those artists whatsoever, but I think that's something we all really have to remember is that whenever looking at these sketchbooks, including mine, by the way, whenever you look at any of my art that I post online, it is solely the stuff I am deciding to show to you. We need to remember as artists, whenever we're looking at other people's sketchbooks and other people's complete art and stuff like that, that we're only seeing a portion of everything that this person puts out. I guarantee you that whatever Instagram artist you really, really look up to has some of the ugliest shit you've ever seen imaginable in their sketchbook. And I don't mean that as an insult. That's a wonderful thing, actually. Because sketchbooks are supposed to be ugly. They're supposed to look kind of bad occasionally. They're supposed to look a little off because they're supposed to be your practice space. They're supposed to be a private area where you are allowed to be bad. And you know what? I'm just gonna say, you, you are allowed to be bad even whenever posting your art in public. You are allowed to just not know what you are doing. That's fine. It's part of the artist's experience and stuff like that. You know, whenever I was a kid and first ever posting my art online, it was entirely just total drama characters that I drew with, like, a mouse on MS Paint. And that's not even entirely true, because I actually started on Flipnote Studio. But, <laughs> oh god. My point is that, like, your sketchbooks are allowed to be messy, and I do get a lot of the fear of going into it and being like, oh, this doesn't look good, this 
isn't great like if it doesn't look good that i can't share it and get more likes and stuff like that and like I completely understand that because for like a period of two or three years I could not draw anything if I didn't think that it was going to get notes on Tumblr. And I think that just like, I, I, I'm trying to find a way to phrase this that isn't like, oh just cope with it, but like, you do have to try to find ways to deal with it. You gotta find ways to like, push through that mentality of, oh this isn't good enough to post so it's not good enough to draw that that's not that's not true you have no idea how much good art goes completely unseen online we are seeing a fraction of a fraction of what is created in the world every single day by people of all ages of all groups of whatever we're only seeing like decimal points of it every single day and I think it's important to try to get yourself out of that mentality of, I need to post this, I need to post this, I need to post this. No, you don't. You, no, you do not. If you want to, go ahead. That's fine. But no, you don't. And even if you do want to post something, you don't need it to be, you don't need it to be good. You can post sketches. You can post some of the worst things that you have ever drawn. You can do whatever you want forever. And that's, that's fine. It is genuinely 100% okay. I think like, Two of the best ways to try to get like past this kind of paralysis is that you kind of just have to do it. And I know it's scary, but you do have to just do it. Scared is the thing. Um, two of the ways that I tend to get past this is, uh, I mentioned before that I have a page in my sketchbook that is just shapes and lines and colors of just whatever random material that I grab from my, uh, from my little artist arsenal. Just scribble on a page, just get started. You're not wasting a page by doing this. You are, uh, you're preparing yourself. Warm up doodles is not wasting a page. Like, I, I don't really think that there is such a thing as wasting a page in your sketchbook. And even if you think that you have, you can always go back and do different things with it. My sketchbooks last such a long time because I tend to go back through my older pages where I just drew like a singular eye or something. And I add more stuff in. If I don't like the doodle that was on there, I cover it up. I do something new. Do that too. Like if you're going to have like a page of scribbles and stuff like that, also allow yourself to go back in your sketchbook and fix things up. These things are not permanent. You're allowed to change them and that that's okay. Um, another thing that I usually tend to do to try to get past this is... Um, if something pops into my head, I just draw it. Like, if I'm like, oh, I want to draw this, I draw it. Um, the other day in my sketchbook, uh, I was think trying to think of something to draw to warm up for um, for some comic pages I was going to do that day. And because Autumn had just started, I was like, oh, I could draw Wirt and Greg from Over the Garden Wall. Uh, but something in the back of my brain was like, but you never draw, like, Over the Garden Wall fan art. Who's going to want to look at that? And the thing that you have to say to that voice in your head that says, but you never do this, so who's going to want to see that, is, uh, shut up. J just shut up. You're not being helpful. Uh, so just, if something pops into your head and you want to draw that thing, just immediately go, draw it, do it, right now. Who's going to stop you? The police? Probably not. I, I would hope not. So, what I'm saying is, like, if you're running into this paralysis fear with your sketchbook and you you just don't know what to put down, you want to try to like tackle this fear of like nobody's going to care, it's going to be ugly, etc, 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 just do it scared. Scribble something down on the page, draw the first thing that pops into your mind, it'll be fine. I promise your sketchbook isn't going to catch on fire or anything like that. There is something else with this also. Uh, a lot of people will not go into a sketchbook or, or into art in general uh, and won't do something because they think that they don't have the skill to do it. Um, I see this pop up in like comic circles a lot. As I've mentioned before, I am a webcomic artist. So I see like, oh, I don't know how to draw a background, so I'm not going to make a webcomic. Or I don't know how to do character design, so I'm not going to make a webcomic. Or my art's not good enough, so I'm not going to do... Here, like, here's the thing. Your art's not gonna get better if you don't do the thing. You're not gonna learn if you don't do it. Um, <laughs> I'm quoting Adventure Time of, thi of all things here, but like, dude, the first step to being good at something is sucking at something. Like, the first time that you ever draw a hand, it's gonna look like dog shit. And that's fine. That's kind of the point. The third time you draw a hand, it's going to look better. The fifth time you do it, it's going to look better. The tenth, the twentieth, the fortieth, the eightieth, the minor fall, the major lift, it's going to look better every single time. 
And I know that, like, starting out bad is scary, and it doesn't feel great. But if you want to learn how to do these different things with your art, you need to start. And a sketchbook is a wonderful place to do that. If you're scared that your first steps are going to look bad and you don't want anybody to see it, do it in your sketchbook. You don't have to show it to anybody. It's fine. I, I promise it's okay. I am, I am handing you a permission slip. It is a permission slip that you are allowed to be bad. It's fine. It is not the end of the world. It's okay. It's a part of the journey, and it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And I do know that, like, everything I'm saying here is way easier said than done. I completely understand it. It took me, like, two or three years to start working in a sketchbook again. And even, like, today, I still struggle to do this, right? Um, but if you sit around waiting for somebody else's permission for your sketchbook to be ugly, then your sketchbook is never going to be pretty. If you sit around waiting for somebody else's permission to learn a new art skill, you're never going to learn that art skill. You are the person that you need to get that permission from, and you're the only one who can give it to yourself, and that's okay. The too long didn't read of this is, um, sketchbooks are supposed to be ugly. In fact, it rules whenever they are and make them as ugly as heavenly possible. I think the world could do with a lot more bad art. So go create some bad art. It's how you learn how to make good art. Some good ways to get past it are to just start, scribble something down on a page. If you want to draw something but you think nobody's going to want to see it, smack that thought over the head with a broom and then draw whatever you want. And just do it scared. It's going to be scary. It's not always going to be fun. You're going to get frustrated occasionally. I know that um, whenever I do studies occasionally, and I'm somebody who finds studies to be very, very fun, I find myself wanting to rip my hair out, but it's part of the process. It's part of the process that we all have to go through. So I'm giving you permission here to make bad art for your sketchbook to be incomplete, for pages to be quote-unquote wasted, for you to do whatever you want forever. And you know what? You don't even need that permission from me. You need it from yourself. So, go grab your sketchbook, go scribble whatever you want inside of it. I don't care what it is. Just go do it and learn to have fun with art again. There are way more complex ways to do this. I, I in no way, shape, or form have covered the complexity of this in like a 13, 14 minute long diatribe about this that's completely unscripted. There's plenty of resources, plenty of things that you can do. There is endless opportunity, and that is the beautiful thing about making art. So go do it, and I hope you have fun. That's, uh, I think that's about all that I wanted to say. <laughs> I got a little, got a little, uh, there at the end, but, um, thank you all for tuning into this. Uh, I might do a couple more of these in the future. They're mostly meant for in-betweens of my usual scripted content. Um, if you like what I do, uh, hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell, maybe comment down below. Let's, let's start a little discussion about sketchbooks. Uh, all my socials are linked down below, and if you're curious as to who all these characters on screen are, good news, I write a webcomic about them called Tip the Ferryman. It'll be linked down below, and you can also read it on Tapas. Thank you all for tuning in, and have a nice day.